and Scott Bywood here, and the reason I'm holding my hand up like this is to symbolise tyres. It sort of, sort of looks like a tyre, doesn't it? It's circular anyway, so but my question to you is, let's say your engine was broken and you had tyres that were okay that they could be improved. What would you do? Would you buy better tyres or would you fix the engine? My bet is you'd fix the engine. And yet what I see so many people doing, and it came up on a conversation I had um, the other day with a client, is so many people, they're focusing on you know, buying new tyres, making their tyres better, rather than fixing the real problem. What do I mean by this? Well, in marketing, you've got top of the funnel, you've got middle of the funnel, you've got bottom of the funnel. And top of the funnel is very similar to what I'm doing now. You know, so, so I'm putting out you know, LinkedIn content, I'm getting attention at the top of the funnel. Now, attention is obviously critical because without attention, you, you don't know me, and then how can you buy from me if you don't know from me? But, and this is a case I see, including myself, I'm, I'm making time to really fix up this issue for, for myself as well, uh, but also for so many people. What the big issue is, is that we're nailing it at the top of the funnel, we're getting the attention. We might even be getting, you know, turning that attention then into email addresses. But then what happens after the top of the funnel, in the middle of the funnel, is it all goes terrible. That's where we need a new engine. You know, we need to start to, you know, to tag people in our list. We need to start to have email follow-up. We need to, you know, we need to have, you know, potentially someone, you know, reach out to that person and connect with that person and take things to the new, new to the next level. We need email series where we can send out emails and generate sales. So, you know, recently I took a, I took a client that had a list of about 6,000 6, people and we, we turned that into, um, for doing an email launch, several thousand dollars a month in revenue, in ongoing revenue. So, so that's the power of focusing on the middle of the funnel. So what I would encourage you to do is really ask yourself, you know, how is my middle of the funnel work, working? Or where are my biggest weaknesses yeah, in my business? So obviously you don't stop the top of the funnel if that's strong, you keep doing it. But maybe you need to invest more energy into fixing your engine and getting that middle of the funnel sorted. Um, if, you, if you need a hand with that, feel free to reach out, um, reach out for a discussion. But the middle of the funnel is often the difference between getting a lot of attention and getting a lot of money. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you've got any questions about what I've shared, please leave it below. And if you'd like me to share anything else, please let me know in the comments box below.